What's going on guys? This is Munch Massacre with Minecraft Universe and today I'm going to be showing you, well I'm going to be giving you, I suppose, give is the right word, a guide on how to survive Survival Island and if you have not played it then you must get it. And I will give, I will tell the guy, the owner of the channel to um, give you the version of my world, uh, the link to the description so you can go try it for yourself. It's mega fun and yeah it's cool. So basically, um, I was, uh, the last video I uploaded to the channel was one of mine got rides, and that was pretty cool. There was a couple of comments saying, you know, yeah, that was cool, whatever. But um, I decided that I was going to show you this, because, well, I found this fun. It's better on multiplayer, of course, so um, I've been doing it with my friend. And um, the first thing the first thing I want to say is, um, when you play this, you must build a house on the ground if you want to have a good start. This is because um, uh, it's easier for materials, they're pretty much already there for you, and it's nicer in a way because um, you don't have to have like all the sea and like the fog and stuff out there, and I, I, I don't yeah, that was an excuse. <laughs> but um, yeah, the key to it is um, all about our organization guys, like here, wood only, that's just a pure example of, of it. Um, and once, once you're organized and you've got yourself sorted and you know what you're doing, it's just all about taking over, you know what I mean? And, um, the, the, the second thing that I suggest you do is build a spiral staircase down. Because the second uh, you've built on the ground, you, you, you're you probably going to start hearing skeletons. Because there was a skeleton dungeon right underneath here, as you can see from the mossy cobblestone. So basically, and this, uh, this just goes for Minecraft in general. No matter what dungeon it is, where it is. Oh my god, that was... Wait, scary. Is it even alive? Yeah. Well, one second, guys. I don't know where that thing came from, but... You know, anyway, so yeah, um... Always dig under dungeons. Always. As you can st see here, there's this path that we haven't... That we forgot to fill up so far. Um, we dig under, and when we want to see where we are, we quickly, quickly, um... Break one of the cobblestones, jump up, patch it back up, so we can see where the chests are. Once you get the chest, or the, hopefully the chest, sir... <laughs> and you you get the, mo the the monster spawner broken. It's just all about taking over. Just it's all about um. You know it's just all about taking out each skeleton individually. And um. Oh, at least the dude. Why are they still here? Um. One second, guys. Oh god, I got to block this up. And so yeah, w once you've taken over the dungeon, you know um. There's going to be two paths. One is going to be here, which you should not go to. That's a lot harder than the one over here. This one, basically it's a massive open space and there's not even that many mobs there. It's like a, um, I, I don't really want to open it yet to be honest, but there's a massive hole like bowl shape up there and there's even some gravel at the very end so that and mobs can't get over that. So once you're taken over this area it's it's yours. Just fill it up with some torches, make sure none can spawn and you've just gained yourself a lot of space. And um yeah, alright guys, I'm just going to cut this out quickly, and I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, so we're back up here now, and basically, um, the, one of the first things I did, I'm not sure if this was really a mistake or not, but, um, I built a kind of, I suppose, a second floor, and, what well, it's, um, this is where I, I would put, sorry for the background noise, this is where I'd put my bed and my friend would sleep underneath. But basically, you, you're really going to want to take advantage of this grass, because... I don't know why it doesn't happen instantly, to be honest, but after a while, um, animals start spawning, and um, you need to make some shears so you can get some wool. And as soon as you've got that, then, you know, you can sleep through the night as fast as anything. But, um, this is actually a pretty good link into my next uh, point. Um, while you're sleeping, obviously mobs are going to be around the island. And you've got to stop that in case somehow they manage to get in, because it happens sometimes, even if you completely block it off. So what me and my friend are currently working on is we're gonna build a two block high wall bordering the entire island. Obviously this means that mobs won't be able to get in from the outside and it's just all about um, taking over the underground then. So like I said, completely, you've really got to take advantage of that dirt. Make it like like I have here. Because um, then, you know, if it's just all over the place then nothing will be able to spawn. It has to be together so that way if there's enough space and light for them uh, the animals to spawn. And make sure that there's like, it's all um, clear on top, because if you've got like a massive tree there, then it's gonna um, shadow a lot of the light. But um, yeah, also the cactus, once you've got the wall around, it doesn't matter, but 
during the early stages, you're really going to take advantage of that. You're going to want to put it like in front of your house, especially if you haven't got a door yet. So that way, any creepers or so, um, you know, will hopefully take a fair bit of damage while in the process of trying to get into your house. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much um, it for this video. I'll definitely be uploading a couple more when my friend will be in them. So I hope you enjoyed the little guide. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you next time.